Hey guys, what's going on? Do you think the volume is on since I have the ringer on sound? Hmm? Is the volume on? Mm -hmm. You think? Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. I do it all the time. You know. Just <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so what are you gonna talk about? Because tonight's episode blew. To me, anyway. <laughs> Seriously, can I just put this out there, okay? Fucking writers, producers, anybody that has anything to do with fucking PLL, please stop ruining everything in the fucking promo. Because it's annoying. Everything is getting spoiled. Fucking Ezra. Fucking, uh, like, everything. It's just, like, fucking everything is getting spoiled. The like, way that they were projecting it in the beginning of the episode, especially with Mona making amends with, you know, the girls and everything... It's you knew like, it. You knew it. You obviously knew it, but we kind of like looked at it and thought, well, maybe they're going to go in a different direction since they're making it kind of obvious. But you knew, you knew from fucking last, like not even so much the promo, you knew from last week that she was going to fucking die. When Ari is talking to her in the bathroom, maybe I should have just died on that cliff. I know. Like fucking fuck you. My God. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I said, we, we're we not, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm heartbroken that Mona's gone. I love Mona. I think she was fucking awesome. I loved her character. I think everything that she did was fucking awesome. But the thing is, though, I feel as, like, I feel like it would have been better. Had, had it we been had, shocked. Yeah, had it not couch. have been ruined. Like, it was completely fucking ruined. Like, I wouldn't, I would have been okay with Mona dying had I not known about it prior to this. Well, and it's absolutely. not, you can't blame it on spoilers. You can't blame it on anything like that because it was in the fucking promo. I am, I'm done. I'm done watching fucking promos. No, seriously, because they sit, they sit there and post pictures of the fucking lamp that's standing behind Mona. And then we see that lamp on the floor with blood all over it and blood all over the walls and everything else. It's like, hmm, I wonder who oh, the fuck is going to die. Let's put fucking together. And you could tell, Mona, was, it, this was the most airtime like that Mona's to, had in fucking seasons. In, in, since yeah. the first season. Since the second season, or, yeah, since the second season. I would say since a. the first season. When she was revealed as A in the second season. Yeah, but we didn't see her all throughout that fucking episode. Like, she was fucking in almost every scene in this episode. Do you well, know what yeah, I mean? Pretty, like, she yeah. had more airtime oh, yeah. now oh, in yeah. this episode than she's ever had in an episode. No, absolutely. It's bullshit. But I wanted to go in a different direction and think that it was going to be somebody else because I thought that maybe they'd shock us since everybody was like, oh, I didn't see this coming from a million miles away. Lucy Hale, Sasha Peterson <sighs> saying, oh, um, blah, blah, blah. People are going to be speechless, Marlene King said. The only okay. thing that made me okay with it was that we actually saw the body. I mean, that fucking, it broke my heart, but I'm saying, like, I was, like, Okay, thank you for at least fucking showing us a fucking body. Because... At least, I mean, it sucks, but we know she's dead. I mean, it really... You saw my reaction. I cried my eyes out. Okay, so Spencer, what else happens? Okay, Mona died. We're pissed. We're fucking heartbroken. Pissed off that it got ruined. It's fucking no surprise whatsoever. Um, no, no, no. Who do we think it is? I'm not even going to guess. I'm not. I'm not. Because was that a wig? Was that fucking... It, it, I don't think it was Allie. They're making Allie look crazy, crazy suspicious. Oh, yeah. More than anybody has ever been suspicious before. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even just like, okay, Allie is fucking like, okay, was it maybe Allie? No. They're making it seem like it, Allie's fucking A and Allie's doing all this shit. Yeah. Therefore, Hashtag is Allie A. Well, you know what? At this point, I'm not even going to go out on a limb and say that they're doing that to screw with us. Because it's going to be a red herring and blah, blah, blah. Maybe they're just doing that to fuck To fucking us spoil us. They because spoil it. it'll spoil us because then they'll think, oh, well, they're obviously going to think gonna that think it's that's not true. Uh -huh. So we're but not even it getting... true. Yes, we sing in our videos. We're but... not even getting into that. Like, it's just not even something that we're going to touch base on. You guys are... We already know. We already came into this video knowing that you guys are not going to be happy with this video. We... Our, same thing with our reaction video. You guys aren't... We don't think that anybody's going to be happy with our reaction video because... Well, a lot of people. Well, those the same were our reaction. real reactions. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was. We, we're not we didn't. Sit there we and were not going to be like, be like oh, oh my god, god. It's Mona. We knew it. We fucking knew it. And everybody, every one of you out there knew it. Like, you know what I mean? So if you follow the show like we do, you obviously knew Mona was going to die. Was there a chance that it possibly wasn't Mona? Yes. Were we hoping for that? Yes. Did it happen? Fuck no. 
No, it didn't happen. So therefore, we're fucked. Like we always are. Because I'm ready to fucking literally kill Marlene King, kill fucking Brian Holdman. Like, I'm ready to kill all these motherfucking people. I'm so pissed off, it's not even funny. I literally am. I've never been so pissed off in an episode before in my life. I feel like they did not deliver. It just didn't feel like a finale. Okay, we learned that fucking Bethany... Uh, Bethany's dad was having an affair with Mrs. De Laurentiis. So, chances are Mrs. D was the one who was actually going to see her. We already knew that. Chances are that Bethany's dad is no other, none other than Peter Hastings, who likes to put his Peter in, in other everybody's fucking, fucking box. Vaginas. So, um, yes, this is the way we talk on our YouTube videos. Yes. We don't fucking give a fuck. We just don't care. So There's, there's a guest star. Oh, yes. But we'll, we, we will get to that. We're going to introduce you to somebody in a minute. But um, <clears throat> Spencer gets arrested. Fucking big shocker there. We knew that from the watch on the wrist. You, you, you knew that from the watch on the wrist. You knew it from the fucking promo when we fucking see all the girls are crying and the only person not that's there not there is, is Spencer. Spencer. We knew someone was going to get arrested. Boom. Spencer. Gone. Done. We knew that. Fucking one, part, one part that shocked the fuck out me. was Toby. Oh my god, I almost fucking I died. I didn't upload that part because we did have a video reaction to that, and I didn't upload it, but... Our reaction was more crazy with Toby. Well, it was crazy in the fact that we were like, oh my god, because... <laughs> oh my god, we were like, oh no, 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 no. no, no, no. no. That's we're what we kept saying, no, out. fuck no. But don't, then no, I'm staring no. at the video, I'm like, I'm not buying it, Marlene King. Not fuck fucking you. buying it. We don't fucking Sorry. believe it. Sorry. We don't believe not it. Buying it. Could suck our dicks. So, on to the next one. Um, I don't know, what, else, what the fuck else happened? All those tapes that was on Mona's bed, all those Riley tapes, gonzo. You'll never see those again. Or you will in season seven. Season, episode not season seven. Season fucking seventeen is what's going to happen. Let's hope it doesn't go that far. Because it's going really to. Want us to it's be going to. to they are the fucking fuck with us. Is. They're eventually going to run. What? what? Don't do what that. <laughs> oh my god. They're eventually going to run out of people. To, okay, to so be let's discuss this. What the fuck is up with Holbrook going in and saying he to Arya? He is sexy. He is very sexy. Oh god, but, he's sexy. Okay. Uh, Made quite a mess. Yeah. Or however, he oh came out God, with, I with him. Yeah, he was like, "Oh, made quite a mess." And it is it just me, or was he kind of alluding to the fact that maybe not just about Spencer? We know that he was questioning about like her. You know, Spencer maybe was yeah, the one to put Spencer, her in there. But it was Spencer almost you to here, here, like blah, blah, blah. it was almost like he was questioning Arya. Exactly with what I being thought. Com- like, have you been? You know what I mean? Like, exactly are you comfortable what I here? Absolutely. Like, it was almost like a that kind of thing. So. That's really all. Okay, fucking Toby. He's a fucking police officer. Good for fucking you. You got your fucking de- your your yeah, your badge out of a fucking in cereal a box because you literally went to police it was academy Halloween. a week ago. It's, he went like two weeks after Halloween. It's now and now it's now Thanksgiving and he's and a fucking he's cop. He's already graduating. Holy shit! The fastest I want to fucking, fucking go to police, police academy, academy in and... history. The it fastest really police <laughs> academy in history. Yes, he's a fucking cop now. He's a fucking cop, and he's gonna be fucking lurking the roads. <laughs> well, now he's in a wheelchair, fucking rolling down the wheels. <laughs> over the roads over the he's on fucking workers' comp now. <laughs> Fuck all of you. We'll he's already got a pension. <laughs> oh my god. Never be able to work again. <clears throat> but yeah, he's how about, retired how already. About, okay, we kind of went backwards in this. We actually. I don't know why we did that, but we did. Well, we did. Um, so, how about fucking Lucas grew a set of balls overnight? Lucas is looking goddamn good. He does look good, first of all. Second of all, he literally grew a set of balls overnight. Like, where the fuck? Okay, he's sneaking into fucking... <laughs> Everybody's able to fucking work. Let's just say, if you need a job in, you know, when you're a teenager, go to fucking Rosewood, the, the police station, because they will give you a job. But one thing that I wanted to mention, which somebody actually, oh shit, oh my God. somebody actually commented on one of the videos, which brings up a very good point. Who the fuck was that that actually did go in and kill Mona? Because it appears that they dragged her down the stairs, bashed her off the fucking walls a few blood times. It was everywhere. it was ridiculous. Like the girl put up a fucking fight. Kudos to her. But holy shit i just think it's bullshit that we didn't see no any i know it. i mean it any starts off of in the it. bedroom the next thing you know there's blood all over lamps are broken walls are torn down the fucking car is Gonzo. fucking flipped over like <laughs> fucking like what, fucking big bad wolf what the hell your fucking happened? roof off like what what happened 
Like, and, why? What happened? It's, and I'm sorry, but that ending with the fucking uh, taking the baby Jesus out of the nativity and replacing it with Mona. That there was, was no need for that. Fucking there hell. was no need for that. There was no fucking need for that at all. I think all. that was kind of like... Like, yeah, she's really fucking dead. Yeah, like, oh, it was crazy. Anyway, that's all I have for about... That's all I have. So, let's introduce him. I'm excited. So, okay. On to our, <laughs> on to our Halloween movie. Okay, so you guys are all excited for Dark Cabin. We are excited too. And, okay, so we have bios that we are going to be posting soon. But, okay. <laughs> we want to, um introduce you guys to someone it's a moth i know but it's fucking flying around me moths fly okay we want to introduce you to somebody and um he is going to be playing the role of joey who is main character sexy okay um this is cook so come here come on over yes say hi to the camera say hello to the camera this is cook (laughs) isn't he sexy (laughs) <laughs> yes so this is cook he's gonna be playing joey and <laughs> i don't know i'm excited i'm pumped he's pumped he's, pumped. he's, he's fucking gonna pumped. be good he needs to he needs to work on talking a little bit louder though so oh uh, i'm pumped he's pumped. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys see ya bye